Hello, my name is Elliot Sumner, and you're watching Ambi, the best website in the world. Thank you. Good night. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Elliot Sumner. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm awesome. Really stoked to be sitting here with you today. Oh, me too. I know you're now touring North America with On and On, so how have the show's been treating you so far? It's always been incredible, actually. Um, I mean, this is... This is a whole new experience for all of us, our first time in the States and Canada. And um, and yeah, every show has been special being, so far. Being your first time over here, have any cities in particular stood out to you, whether the audience, the food, or just the actual ambiance of the place? My favorite show was in Atlanta. Okay. Um, I don't know what it was about that night, but I, I felt, really, uh, felt really good about it. And um, both of the LA shows were great. The New York shows were, were awesome as well. It was kind of my homecoming. I got to see my family and yeah, that was quite nerve wracking actually. But um, but yeah, I've had a great time so far. Well, I was looking through some photographs and following all the tour. I think it's like four or five weeks. And the cool thing about it is it seems like you're really, really bonding with On and On. My favorite thing would have to be the uh, wanker spelt out oh, on, yeah. the, on the tire of the van. Oh, yes. Do you guys kind of play pranks on one another or what's going we, on there? We do. We've been, we, there's been a few tour pranks. Um, but it's purely an expression of our love for one another. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they they graffitied wankers on our on our vehicle, <laughs> which was which was nice. Has that been the <laughs> best kind of prank or gag so far? Or have there been um, others? There's been others. What okay. else has there been? Stealing people's phones and changing the passwords and um, <laughs> and uh, front cover images and stuff. Yeah, there's there's been quite a few. Nice. Yeah, not too much to broadcast about, but uh, yeah. When it comes to packing for a tour, for yourself, what are some quintessential items you know you're going to have to bring with you? Um, I'm a total hypochondriac, so I bring an entire pharmaceutical bag <laughs> of uh, drugs. You never know what you'll need. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, lots of echinacea, iron, zinc, magnesium, um, everything, really. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I haven't been sick once this tour. Touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, some exciting news was actually recently announced, and that's the fact that there's a new record coming out. You recently put that right as your cover photo. It's coming out in 2016. So can you just tell us a little bit about that? Is it finished? It's finished, yeah. It's been done since the beginning of the year. Okay. And um, we've put out half of it already, so everything that's available now is also on the album. Um, so I'm really excited for, for the whole thing to come out now. And how long was the recording for the record actually taking place? It took four weeks in total. Um, so we recorded the first half uh, before the end of last year, and then the rest of it the beginning of this year. Okay. And we, we had a chance to tour it. We did a European tour before we recorded so that we could get all of those kind of those live nuances that we made up on the road. Nice. And uh, I'm glad we did that. And where did that recording kind of happen? Like, which city? We recorded in London. Um, originally, we wanted to record it in Berlin, but we couldn't really, we couldn't coordinate it. So maybe next time. Yeah. And plus, Berlin's a lot more distracting than London. <laughs> so we probably would More to do? Is that why? Or? More to do, yeah. Okay. You put this song called Species, which you're really, really digging. Mm -hmm. um, and you also did a video as well, which was put out. Mm -hmm. So just for that song, my favorite part would have to be those 80s nuances and the undertones from the synth to even some of the guitar parts and the vocals were really reminiscent for me. So just when it comes to 80s music, is that an influence for you? Is that something you draw inspiration from? Um, I don't think 80s would be the, the right... I wouldn't use that word. I think uh, there's a common misconception where analog synthesizers are used. People associate that with the 80s. I think it's got more of a um, kind of more of a 70s vibe to it, and uh, and you know modern techno. But that that recording I, is is most of my production actually okay, that nice. I had um, on my computer. And I didn't really know what to do with it before. I didn't really play it to anyone, and Duncan really liked it, and we didn't change didn't change much about it on the recording. We know a lot about the awesome music. So just outside of music, what are some things that you take interest in? I like to. I like cooking. Okay, nice. I, I like boxing. I'm quite an avid boxer. 
um, which is therapeutic in a very <laughs> aggressive way. <laughs> uh, that's about it, really. Do you have a favourite dish to cook? Yes. And what would that be? I cook very good meatballs and um, really good pasta. Uh, steak I'm really good at as well. Yeah. I, I like to cook a lot. <laughs> I, I haven't been able to on this tour, but we've, yeah. we've eaten very well in really? America. Really? Yeah. I was a little bit nervous because I'm... I don't know. I, I shy away a lot from fast food and stuff because it's not very good for you. But um, but yeah, we've been really lucky. I mean, all the venues have like catered for us yeah. really well, and yeah. There's so many bands that we speak with, and they pretty much will talk for forever about all the junk food they've ate, and it's like, oh, we're gonna totally eat healthy on this tour. And the next thing you know, it's just McDonald's every day for them. So. Yeah. Well, we've been eating a lot of Subway, which is kind of it's, it's better it's, than it's McDonald's. Definitely. Yeah. You're playing a ton of shows, obviously, on this tour, and then you're going to Europe very soon, which is great. So do you remember your first show? Yes, sort of. Who was it that you that you saw? Oh, the first show tr- tr- I went to go and see? Yes. Um, uh, no, I don't remember. No? Did you used to go a lot to a lot of them when you were younger? Like, were you an avid concert goer? Um, yeah, when I when I was a teenager and I kind of just discovered London and Camden and all of that, I, I used to go and see a lot of bands and stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. I can't name any of the top of my head though. <laughs> well, just to wrap everything up then, is uh, for all your fans who are going to be watching our interview, is there anything you'd like to say to them? Um, hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, that about sums it up. <laughs> I just sums wanted it up. to say thank you so much for your time thank today. Thank you. Really appreciate it and look forward to the show tonight in Toronto. Cool. And remember, everyone can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all sorts of interviews, features, videos, and a ton more awesome stuff with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time.